Oh, right, guys. Now that we're back. Yeah, this is the Nikon J1. It, I, I believe it to be the best YouTube beginner camera under a hundred dollars. I paid sixty for this like two years ago. It came with a Pentax lens adapter, so you get vintage lenses on it. it. Came with a thirty-two gig Samsung SD card. It came with uh, like a beige, or like a maroonish leather case, and yeah it's a great camera and one of the reasons why i say this is the best because it, it has interchangeable lenses so the nightcore uh, ecosystem you can get a bunch of lenses for it uh wide angle uh super zoom and just so you guys know i'm not lying because a lot of these youtubers come out with saying oh this camera's under this and then you go on ebay and the camera's like over that or more than that i went on ebay and I wanted to search for this one with a some accessories, some extra accessories for it. So I bought this one, the Nikon J1, and it comes in different colors. I've seen it, the white, uh, red, uh, pink, yellow, blue, and then black. And I bought the black one It came with this nice Nikon case, really nice Nikon case with a bunch of uh, compartments for it. So we'll check the back, what's in here. Uh, so the Nikon charger and is this one instructions? <laughs> wow, <laughs> the 90 day limited warranty, I guess. Cool, uh, anything else in there? Nope. Uh, a bunch of other compartments in the front. Um, yeah, real nice quality. Uh, to you, what's in here? Nothing. Um, this other compartment, is there anything in there? Nothing. And the main bread and butter. Um, so I bought this camera. Let me just put the what. Um, here it is. So here is the camera, the Nikon J1, and I bought this for eighty dollars shipped. So you guys know I'm not lying. Here it is, Nikon J1. Uh, real nice camera. I like this like matte black finish. This this one, my original one, is like a pearlescent white. Uh, but I'm really digging the black matte finish. Um, again, the 10 to 30 kit lens. Um, let's throw in a SD card here. I have uh, some of my favorite the SanDisk, UltraDisk, uh, Ultra Plus um, SD cards are my favorite. Um, so let's throw that in. And yeah, nice little camera. It has flash. Look at look at that. The flash just pops out. A nice little kit lens. And I bought this because it also came with the with the 10 to one the 30 to 110 right here. Now this lens alone it goes for like eighty dollars, and if I really want to sell this lens, if 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 down the line uh, I decide YouTube's not for me, vlogging's not for me, I could sell the camera for about the same price that I bought it for. I could sell the camera for eighty. I could sell this for sixty and make a profit because this alone is worth eighty. <laughs> so yeah, this is the. 30 to 110 and it is a nice zoom lens so yeah it's a really nice zoom lens so let's put that right there and it comes with the you know the hood mount um but yeah really nice camera let me show you guys again it's a really nice back uh, you know screen well uh you it's doesn't have that many buttons but if you go into the settings it has you could do a whole lot um turn it on my bad so yeah, if, if you could do a whole lot with this, you could change the ISO, you could exposure, movie settings, and yeah, the formats are 1080 uh, 60i, 1080 30p, and 720 60p, and it does slow motion, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's only at um, 480p and it just looks bad. It's not even worth it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do some test footage and show you guys kind of how I would hold it. I would hold it like that if I'm vlogging. It's really nice, really small, really compact. And also it came with a strap, so if I really wanted to look like a tourist. Um, just, you know, throw it on like so. And then when I'm vlogging, spin her around, record, and get her done. Um, but for real, let me show you guys some test footage on this. Um, let's head on out. Alright guys, so here is some quick test footage with the Nikon J1. I am really liking how it is. It's small, light, and compact. So let me know how you guys like the actual footage and the 
quality of the microphone and yeah I live in New York so let me show you guys outside it we really get unexpected rain all the time so that's uh, what it is right now so I can't really go outside and do footage but I'm just showing you guys inside showing you guys all the decorational stuff look at the Christmas tree this is gonna be on like half of my videos for the remainder of the time um, and yeah what's up guys hopefully the audio is great I know it's gonna be good uh, and yeah let's hop right back Alright, so how did you guys like that really quick test footage? I hope you guys enjoyed it, and you guys are now looking into getting one of these. Uh, I do honestly recommend this for vlogging. There are some downs to it. It doesn't have a headphone jack. Um, it doesn't have a headphone jack, and that's kind of a downer, but you could also get one of those little dead cat little plugins here, so it actually helps with the audio. Um, but other than that, it's what you need. It doesn't have a tilt screen, but... For under a hundred with accessories on and whatnot, it's not a bad deal. So let me know if you guys actually bought this and what other what cameras would you recommend? Or what camera are you using on with your YouTube channel? Let me know guys, I'm very intrigued and I will catch you guys. This is Joseph, I am out. Peace.